January 10th. Today we commemorate our Holy Father, Gregory, the Bishop of Nyssa. He was the brother of St. Basil the Great and was at first a married priest, but when his wife, the Blessed Theosevia, died, he was chosen and consecrated as Bishop of Nyssa. He was distinguished by great secular learning and spiritual experience and was a great preacher, a translator of the scriptures and a theologian. As a result of his opposition to the Arians, they did everything in their power to crush him, regarding him as their chief enemy. They were so successful in this that in the reign of the Emperor Valens, their confederate, they managed to depose him from his episcopal seat and drive him into exile. The Holy Father spent several years in patient exile, enduring poverty and humiliation. In 381, he took part in the Second Ecumenical Council, and it is thought that he formulated the final part of the creed concerning the Holy Spirit. Finally, finishing his life at a great age in about the year 395, he entered into the kingdom of God and has been commemorated through all succeeding ages as a great light in the Church. Blessings of God always known for the hope of the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Mask the pardon of our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, the ages of Amen. The truth of things has revealed thee to thy flock as a rule of faith an icon of meekness and a teacher of temperance. For this cause thou hast achieved the heights by humility, riches by poverty. O Father and Hierarch Gregory, intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved. Bringing battle to naught with his upraised arm, Christ has overthrown horse and rider in the Red Sea, and has saved Israel who chants a hymn of victory. O Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for us. Since thou art the abyss of wisdom and the treasury of knowledge and the absolute goodness, O Christ, bestow on me an unpouring of light, that I may sing the praise of Gregory, the luminary of thy glorious church. Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for Accept, us. O Father Gregory, thou shining ornament of teachers, this beggarly hymn offered out of love upon thy memorial, whereon do thou make Christ gracious unto us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With rich speech of wisdom, O initiate of sacred mysteries, 
Thou taughtst the venerable Church to proclaim the theology of the threefold unity and the trinity of one throne and equal honour, O Gregory. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let faith alone reign and no proofs of thy wonders that past understanding, O maiden mother of God. For thou gavest birth to the incomprehensible God, the Word, who clothed himself with man. O Christ, who by thy command fixed the earth upon naught, and suspended its weight unsupported, establish thou thy church upon the immovable rock of thy commandments, O thou who alone art good and lovest mankind. O Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for us. Thou madest the boltings of the flesh subject to thy governing mind, and thy mind to the King of all. Wherefore, in a running the whole way of the commandments without stumbling, O Gregory, thou befittingly became the dwelling of the Trinity. Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for us. On to discipline thou didst add divine wisdom, O Father, for which cause Christ brought thee the reins of the Church, and put them in thy hands, and thou didst guide it with a firm grip as an excellent initiator of the sacred rites, O all-blessed Gregory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Going up into the mount of the virtues, O Gregory, and making a sense in thy heart, thou wast raised up from the earth on the unending road to the heavenly life before thy departure from the flood. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Without union or a mother's pangs, thou became the mother of God who shone forth from the pure Father. Wherefore, in orthodox manner, we proclaim thee to be the Theotokos, for thou didst conceive the word made flesh. Thou didst gain divine illumination, struggling all thy life as though without flesh and wast famed as a priest for thy vigilance. For having wondrously made doctrines clear to all, thou didst establish the whole world in right belief. O our righteous Father Gregory, intercede with Christ, that his great mercy may be granted unto us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When Jesus had been born of the blameless Virgin Mary, and when he was baptized of John in the waters of the Jordan, the Spirit descended upon him, appearing in the likeness of a dove, For this cause the holy prophet cried out and said together with all the angels, Glory unto thy coming, O Christ God, glory be unto thy kingdom, glory to thy dispensation, O thou only friend of man. Perceiving thy divine condescension prophetically, O Christ, Habakkuk cried out to thee with trembling, Thou art come for the salvation of thy people to save thine anointed ones. O Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for Both us. Both in life and in fervor of speech, O Gregory, thou didst appear as a pillar full of light, burning like a beacon with zeal for orthodoxy and going before the new Israel. Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for Having us. Having received the grace of the Spirit, thou runs the mean garment of the letter of the law, and didst reveal unto us the hidden beauty of its meaning. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As an initiator into the things of God, O Gregory, thou hast clearly and concisely expounded that God-given prayer, which proceeded out of the mouth of God. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Without union or corruption didst thou conceive in thy womb, and before thou didst travail thou gavest birth, and after childbirth thou wast preserved a virgin, having given birth to God. O thou who art clothed in light as with a garment, I rise at dawn unto thee, and to thee do I cry. 
Enlighten thou my gloom and shrouded soul, O Christ, in that thou alone art compassionate. O Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for us. As though thou hadst been fire, thou burns up to heresies, thorn bearing webs of words. But deeds in light and the minds of the faithful, O blessed Gregory, expounder of mystery. Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for us. Thou didst convict the aberration of Eunomius and his words, which were like quicksand, and thou breaks asunder the mighty toils of his nets as a spider's well. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O most excellent Gregory, thou didst reprove the utterly atheistical Macedonius, who rashly insulted the divine spirit, since he had no portion with him. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When thou seatlessly bearest for us, Christ, O righteous and redemption, O Theotokos, thou didst set the nature of our forefather free from the curse. O Christ, Master, still thou the sea of the passions which rages with a soul-destroying tempest, and lead me up from corruption in that thou art compassionate. O Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for us. Thou hadst a humble mind, O Gregory, and was shown to all as a meek warrior against them that strove to diminish the glory of Christ. Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for us. By thy wisdom and thine abundant speech, O Gregory, thou didst utterly destroy Arius' his unnatural and audacious division of the Trinity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Ignorantly considering the Trinity's one to be a commingling, Sabellius, who fought against God, was reproved by thee, O all-blessed Gregory. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou bears as a virgin, and having born, thou didst remain pure as a truly virgin mother, holding in thine arms him that upholds the universe. Most watchful with the eye of thy soul, O wise hierarch, Thou shonest in the world as a vigilant shepherd, and wielding the rod and staff of thy wisdom thou dravest off, like destroying wolves all them that taught wicked doctrines. And thou didst preserve thy faithful flock uncorrupted, O blessed Saint Gregory. Out of carelessness I fell, miserable as I am, and I have slept unto death. But do thou, as a most vigilant shepherd, rouse me up, O Father, and put to sleep my passions which evilly tyrannize me, so that rising up I may purely sing of thy luminous translation, which the Master of the whole world has worthily glorified. As the translation of a most faithful servant, an all-wise teacher of doctrines, a friend and initiate, and a steward of his excellent traditions, the authority of which thou didst excellently preserve unsullied, O blessed St. Gregory. O blessed St. Gregory! The supremely exalted Lord of our fathers quenched the flame and bedewed the children who sang together, Blessed art thou, O God! Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for us. United by love for the brightness of the triply splendid divinity, O Gregory, Thou shines like lightning upon all men, glittering like a mirror with the reflections of his light. Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for us. With fatherly solicitude, thou hast left thy words as a treasure for the cleansing of the soul's ways and for the fullness of knowledge of them that sing in faith. O God, blessed are thou. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst declare the Father to be the first mind and cause, and both the begetter of the Word and the origin of the Spirit, while singing to the Trinity, blessed are thou. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O all blameless Virgin, thou gavest birth to one hypostasis into natures, even God incarnate, unto whom we all sing, O God, blessed are thou. The children, forming a universal chorus in the furnace, chanted to thee, the Creator of all. Him, the Lord, all ye works, and exalt him supremely for all ages. O Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for us. O blessed Gregory, thou didst receive the whole brightness of the comfort which came upon thee, O righteous one. 
as thou didst cry, praise the Lord, all your works, and supremely exalt him unto all the ages. Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for According us. According to the divine word of Christ, O Father, out of thy belly flow rivers of knowledge unto us, for grace has truly shown thee to the world as an ever-flowing fountain unto the ages. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Oh, what a marvellous pair of brethren, kinsmen in the flesh, who were of one mind in things divine, honouring them both with justly honour, Basil with Gregory unto the ages. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou gavest birth to the word of God, and man passed all understanding, O Virgin, and has remained a virgin, all we works worthily bless thee and supremely exalt thee unto all the ages. And so Isaiah the virgin has conceived in her womb and born a son, Emmanuel, both God and man. Orient is his name, and magnifying him we call the Virgin Blessed. O Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for us. Plainly unable to extol the lightning splendor of thine achievements and thy words, O Gregory, our mind admits to a glorious defeat and declares thy praise to be beyond its power. Holy Father Gregory, pray to God for us. O excellent among the ministers of mysteries, as thou now stands before the Trinity with the choir of apostles, prophets, martyrs, righteous, and patriarchs, remember us who praise thy memorial, O Gregory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Look down from on high, defending now the Church of Christ, O High Priest, and giving victory unto the faithful episcopate. Break the yoke of slavery, O Gregory, and by thine intercessions save them that have recourse to thee. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Since thou gavest birth to the Maker of creation, O all pure virgin, thou possessest dominion over everything that is made. For thou hast a preeminence that is beyond nature and without compare. Wherefore, as we worship thy child, we glorify thee. Let us all chant songs and hymns to honor all wise Gregory, Nissa's framed prayer, let joy and boast, and the good shepherd great in zeal, who was the kinsman in the flesh, and sharer in the ways of wise basil of great renown. Wisdom, O Holy Mother of God, save us. More honourable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, Thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May he who deigned to be baptized by John in the Jordan for our salvation, Christ our true God, by the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, by the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes the Great, Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of our Holy Father among the saints, Gregory, Bishop of Nyssa. With the prayers of Saint Domitian, Bishop of Melitine. With the prayers of our Father Marcion, Presbyter and steward of the great church, with the prayers of our father Ammonius and all of those with them whose memory we keep this day. 
by the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim, and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. By the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. 